Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I have something a little different for you today. If you saw my last video in the climbing series, I ended up streaming the game as a subathon. It was amazing, thank you to everyone who came out. We finally beat the game after five and a half hours. However, during the stream, we were listening to lots of copyrighted music. So what I have for you here today is I'm just gonna take the best parts from that stream and tell you what happened. After spending multiple hours on this part for the last video, I made no progress and we started off right back here for the beginning of the live stream. But I actually discovered something huge about the movement mechanics of this game while I was here. Now most people who play this game at this point definitely already know this, and to those people I say, shut up, I'm a slow learner. Anyway, let me explain the mechanic. At this point in the gameplay, I have about 10 hours on the game already, and whenever I try to jump, I always do this clunky two-handed swing jump. Or sometimes I just do a swing jump with two hands and then on the last swing I let go of one hand and let go of the other shortly after. I did this the entire game and honestly sometimes it would work. However, I had a pretty low success rate. At the time it was the only effective way I could figure out how to make jumps. Now at some point during this part I figured out a better way to do these long distance jumps. I I'm not sure if there's a name for this but we can call it the arc jump. How it works is pretty simple. You want to swing slightly away from the direction you're jumping. In this case, you want to swing left. Intuitively, you might want to get some big swings going for lots of momentum, but I found this jump works best with a very slight swing in the opposite direction. Now, after you swing left, you want to move your mouse up and to the right. This gives you the optimal height and speed to make long distance jumps in this game. This also gives way more control than just swinging left to right and trying to time the release. This might be obvious to some, it wasn't to me, Maybe it can help someone out who's watching and trying to beat the game still. Now this wheel part was crazy at first, and I missed it so many times. I only used the double arm swing jump for this part. But this lamp part right after basically forces you to learn the one-armed method. And after a few attempts, I finally got it. Oh my god! Ah! 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 No! But then it finally clicked for me. Instead of like doing this weird two-handed swing, if you just do that one-handed move, I think it's kind of better. It's like a... Like that, see? That's like way better. We do it for this part, though. You can do it for this part! Literally the first time trying this better jump method, I got it. And just like that, we got past the part I had been stuck on for two and a half hours. Now this next part was pretty easy, just a bit of normal climbing. The only thing to note was that these blue mushrooms on the rocks were really slippery, but it really wasn't a big deal. No! But seriously, with this arc jump method, this part was a breeze to do again. Got it first try again, actually. For this mushroom part, if you could just jump past the shrooms and grab a rocky part, you should have this jump. Now for this part, you just want to take a leap of faith and you'll be at the next checkpoint. And now here we are at this part. I still have nightmares about it. This is the final checkpoint of the game, and the last stretch is the final part. I spent almost five hours on this part alone. Five freaking hours. There's so many difficult parts here, and almost all are unforgiving and bring you back to the checkpoint. You have a decently far jump here, leaps of faith where you can't see where to land, a couple precise jumps here and there, another long jump, and then this jump that was my kryptonite. This jump is so far, there's almost no room for error. The one saving grace is that for the most part, you can save yourself on the rocks below. However, if you fail on this jump as much as I did, you're bound to fail on the saving part too. But after literal hours of trying this jump, we finally got it. Yes! Here we are, the final minutes of the game. It included a wacky but scary jump using this red handle to clear a pretty decently sized gap. But as you get towards the top, the weather clears. It really is beautiful. You feel your hard work paying off. I couldn't tell if this was the end of the game or not, but I knew we were right near it. Oh, and look at that. When you grab this handle, confetti comes out and you get a crown signifying you beat the game. Although I did make a couple scary fails on this cloud part after, eventually we got it done. Just kidding. But eventually I did make it back there. At this point, my hand was cramping hard. I've never squeezed my mouth so hard for so long in my life, but there's no way I was letting it slip away this time. 
Except that I did. I could crawl. This was not for the lulls. This is not for the content. I was exhausted. My hands hurt. I just wanted to be out of this game. And at the very end, on a literal ladder that no one should ever fail on, I fell. Luckily, this time, by the power of God, anime, and most importantly, the Black Eyed Peas, we made it. Yeah. Don't do that. That's going to scare me into a fall. Dirty bitch. Come on, you dirty bitch. Come on, you dirty bitch. Give me that. Give me that. We're out of the dome. We're out of the dome. We can't grab the words. Guys, what? What do I do? Do we just try to fall on top of this dome and escape? You gotta climb the credits? Oh, you can climb the, I thought I couldn't grab it before. Special thanks to Bennett Foddy for inspiring this game. Thank you for everyone for inspiring me. To my endlessly supportive wife, Vivian. Aw, that's so cute. Without whom this game would not exist. And thank you for your suffering anytime. Remember, to live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. Oh, baby, it's true. Oh, baby, it's true. Oh, my God. Thank you all for coming on this journey with me. Hey, we're back at the start.